everyone and welcome to the first episode of the Recycling DIY Project. Today's episode has been kindly, unwillingly and unknowingly sponsored by my mistake. Uh, as you can see here, I made a bad thing, but it turned out to be in my advantage, so no worries about that. Uh, this is a bowl that my mom gave to me a while back. It's a natural red earth bowl. But since I am a clumsy airhead, I managed to break it. But it turned on to my advantage because without it, uh, this episode wouldn't come to be. So I'm not crying. I'm not upset. Instead of throwing it away, of course, I could have thrown it away. But I decided to create it in one of the ancient bowls we see in the history museums. You know, the ones with the paintings and the crackings and the chippings and um, parts of it missing. Um, because I am actually a fan of ancient civilizations. I like that. Um, I like to know about the stories that, of how they perceived life, what was most important to them, and how did they spend their days, actually. Um, for example, some of the vessels in the, in the museums that I've seen are based on skill, you know, manual labor, tells the story of the people. Um, others are based on war, so they were, they were a predatory or war-based uh, civilization, or based on art. Well, the civilization that I've chosen for this project today is none of those. <laughs> um, <clears throat> what I found this civilization is to be more based on spiritual evolution, more uh, spiritual wisdom. Uh, and it's the um, civilization of Tripilia Kukuten. Oopsie, <laughs> you didn't see that one? No, 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 that didn't happen. Don't look. Um, the Tripilia Kukuten uh, is one of the most... Uh, vast, ancient, and evolved civilizations uh, discovered in Europe, dating back from uh, 4,000 up to 6,000 years before Christ. Um, it is the vastest civilization known because from that period, um, the Kukuten civilization had up to 3,000 um, settlements with could be could the with the possibility of housing housing uh, forty thousand approximately forty thousand uh, of inhabitants, um, it, which was big for that period because other civilization at that time were up to hundreds, but this one no 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 was up to thousands. <laughs> And, of course, what I like about this uh, civilization beyond, beyond the spiritual wisdom is that they were peaceful civilization. Unfortunately, they stopped existing abruptly after a while, but hey, centuries, uh, centuries, uh, millennia of uh, peace was uh, well worth it. Um, another thing about uh, this civilization that I've chosen is that it is very home-based to me. Uh, the Tripilia Kukuten civilization has been seen uh, being spread from the northern part of Romania to pieces of Moldova and Ukraine. Uh, me being Romanian, I kind of see it as my own personal heritage. Well, country's heritage. Um, so it's very homey to me, and I've chosen this one for the same for this reason as well. Um, and the last but not least motif um, for which I've chosen this uh, design is that the the population of uh, Kukuten is very uh, highly spiritual. If you come to analyze a little bit uh, the vessels that they had, uh, in which the eternal spiral is ever present in every design, um, representing one of many things. One, that they uh, understood the cycle of life, you know, that idea of life and death, or the ever changing um, movement of life or um, energy which is, uh, again, ever-changing. Um, it could also represent, um, not the cycle of nature, but 
the spiritual journey of life itself, not only the humans, but also the animals as well. And I'm speaking about the animals as well because I've seen in one of their vessels that they held maximum respect for the animals. For example, in this bowl over here with the wolf, first of all, the wolf is painted, so it, it did have uh, some respect for it. But if you look at the tail, uh, you can see that the tail actually acts like a branch, like a tree, sorry, with the roots hanging downwards, like a grounding situation. And this can actually um, represent one of two things, or I see two things. One, that it understood the necessity of balance between um, creature that's walking on the earth and the earth itself. And I did say creature because it didn't represent only the... Um, the animal but also the human itself so the balance between nature and the earth walkers uh, and also the knowledge that they actually understood and respected this because being placed on a bowl it it's represented as something highly um, important that they would want to share to future generations so yes, maximum kudos for the, for them on that one. Um, another thing that I like about this situ uh, this uh, civilization is that, and, uh, and archaeologists are actually baffled about this one, is that uh, periodically they would uh, actually, around uh, between uh, 60 and 80 years, they would systematically burn down their houses down to a crisp, and on top of those, uh, on top of those ashes, they would build uh, the same type of house, the same style, same size, same design, same position, everything. Um, and one archaeologist said that they, uh, it has, he has seen, I think it was a he, uh, up to 13 different kinds of settlement, settlements placed on top of uh, the ashes. So... From my point of view, that it actually represents 13 different generations. Um, and for this, I actually have a theory why uh, they were burning down the houses. Since they were highly spiritual, they would actually understand or have the knowledge of the afterlife, the um, um, life before death, and... Probably considering that you would start another life after you finish this one, when your body dies. Uh, wait a second. Um, they would uh, burn the house as a form of sacrifice, let's say. They would turn the house into spiritual form. So they could um, give the house to the former owner so they can have in the other afterlife. Which I actually find it... To be highly respectful it does say about um, the love or the respect they had for their elders um, and can actually give you a little piece of information if I'm right I don't know if I'm right but it can actually give you a sign about the lifespan of uh, that civilization that it had so let's say the population lived from 60 to 80 years which is very high, considering that by that time people believed they would live up to 30s or 40s. Um, but then again, these are all speculations. I cannot be sure, they cannot be sure, which cannot just uh, call them and ask them, ooh, or create a seance. <laughs> that would be nice. Oh, but another thing that I saw on the... And one of the vessels is that they might have the possibility of alien communication. So maybe they had part of the wisdom from them. Which is very intriguing for me. And I would love to find out more if that's true. But unfortunately we don't know more. But feel free to Google it yourselves and find out about this civilization. Uh, if you wish. Uh, and also... 
if you would like, you could create your own vessels as well. Here I am uh, creating a little bit more, uh, putting a little bit more clay on top of the vessel. So it can cre create that illusion of uh, it was painted before it got broken, you know. I've miniature, I've, um, ah, how is that word? Anyway, here's the finished product. Hope you like it. And if you create vessels, please share. I would love to see your work and see you in future episodes, guys. Bye.